Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so today, uh, let's talk about the gamma function. And uh, uh, since that, uh, yeah, I have a video list uh, called the Engineering Mathematics, and uh, there is a, a video list about the gamma function. Uh, I think it's here. So that uh, in this video, I already proved that the various definition of gamma function and also the refraction formula and the beta function and the gender uh, duplicate formula. Okay, so uh, as you know in this uh, in this title that uh, I in this video I only prove a theorem called the uh, Bohr uh, motor up theorem. Okay, and uh, because I think the 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 calculation of gamma function, the continuation, the refraction formula, duplicate formula, I already proved in my uh, video list. Uh, so I will post the uh, list uh, link below. So if you want to go to see this and you can see the proof and because some of them you to use the gamma, uh, you need to use the complex analysis. Okay, so I start. So, so I will quickly introduce gamma function and the proof is for motor up theory, uh, for uh, motor up theorem. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, so quickly definition. So gamma x defined to be this. Okay, and uh, for x that's uh, greater than zero and less infinity. And there are simple exercise for you to check in whether gamma n is just n minus one factorial. And it's easy to prove that gamma x plus one equals x gamma x, okay? And also there is a duplication formula, also refraction formula, this is proof. Uh, using the complex analysis, so you can see my uh, video, other videos. Okay. And uh, okay, so there's this uh, fact that uh, gamma x is uh, convex. Log gamma x is convex. Okay, so. Uh, Yes, uh, okay. So log gamma uh, x is convex. And the reason is that uh, you can use the holders, uh, holder uh, equality. Okay, so you can easily check this. Okay, I, I, I will not prove this because I will use the bohr uh, monohorb theorem to prove this, okay? Okay, so theorem. This is the the only uh non-trivial things I want to prove in this video. Okay, so border uh oh, sorry, bor motorhorp. So this theorem says that suppose f is a uh, some positive function, uh which defined on so zero up to infinity goes to some positive function, such that uh, a f of uh, x plus one is x f of x b f of one is one. So uh, you can view this as a boundary case, right? And also C log F is convex. Then F must be a gamma function. Uh, okay, so this is what I got to prove. I hope you, hope you guys subscribe much. Okay, so uh, so uh so by definition, right? So we already know that gamma function satisfies ABC property. So uh we just need to show we just need to show that A B C gives us gives you the unique function, give you the unique function. So once you give the unique function, then you know that gamma function satisfies all these three properties. So this guy must be gamma function. Okay. Okay, so let's say uh, define phi to be log f. Uh, let me just change your color. So uh, let phi to be phi to be log f, and uh, we know that the phi x plus one equals to phi of x plus log x by the recursion, and we know that phi of one is zero, and uh, I know that phi is convex. Okay, so notice that uh, 5n plus 1 is basically what? Log gamma uh, n plus 1, so it's log n factorial. Okay, so now uh, I want to use the property of uh, 5 is convex. 
So let's consider three region, uh, which is uh, n, n plus one, and uh, n plus one, n plus one plus x, uh, n plus one, n plus two. Okay, so you just consider uh, which n, n plus one, n plus two, and uh, where x is here. Uh, yes, okay. So since it's con uh, this phi is convex, right? So the slope, the slope from this, this, this slope will less than this slope and will less than this slope, okay? So slope of this one will less than two, less than three. Okay, so what is the slope of uh, this side, uh, this part, right? So this slope is phi n plus one minus phi n divided by n plus one minus one minus n. So this guy is uh, by this, right? So log n factorial. Uh, so you should get log n factorial uh, over uh, n minus one factorial. So this guy's a uh, log n, okay. Uh, what is this uh, slope in uh, for these two points, which is a uh, Phi n plus one plus x minus five n plus one minus x divided by x. And then what is this part? So this part is similar as this. So it's n plus one. Right. So the uh, log n plus one. Right. So I got log n plus one uh, less or equal to uh, so greater or equal to uh, this and greater or equal to this. So let me just write it down. So what we have is this. Okay, for every n, for every n. Okay, and also uh, by this property, by this property, uh, or by this property, I know that uh, I know that five n plus one plus x will equals to five x plus log plus log x x plus one up to x plus n. Okay, so let me just write down. So I have n plus one plus x equals to five x plus log x x plus one da, 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 to x plus n plus uh, x plus n. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna have to prove, what we're gonna have to do is pull in, right? So I get log n less or equal to five x plus log x x plus one da, 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 x plus n minus phi n plus one, which is a log n factorial divided by x, that's all equal to log n plus one. Okay, so now finally I, I, can, re, I can write phi of x uh, clearly, right? Okay, so uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna to do is that I uh let me just uh, uh let me just do this okay so let me just times x let me just uh times x to uh both side oh let me just times x to both sides so we got x x and then let me just uh, uh let me just minus let me just minus x log n for both sides. So for uh for each side, right? So this is zero. So minus x log n and the minus x log n. Okay, so this right hand side become x log one plus one over n. Okay. And the this side, this side can be written as uh five x minus log. So I get n factorial and the uh, x n, right? So it's so it's a n factorial n x, right? n to x and x, x plus one, x plus n. Okay, so let me just clearly everything. So I get five x minus log. That's where you go to log one plus one. Okay, now this equation holds for every n. Okay, so now you so you know the answer, right? Because by the squeeze theorem, if you that, uh, oh sorry, there's an x here. So uh, by the squeeze theorem, if n goes to infinity, I know that log one over one plus n will go to what, right? It will go to zero because this guy's uh, zero. So which tell you that this is zero, right? And that is zero. So which proves that by the squeeze theorem, your five of x will become limit n goes to infinity. 
one of x and factorial x x plus one da, 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 x plus one. Okay, and uh, this phi of x is a uh, uh, sorry, there's a log here, and this phi of x by definition is log f. Okay, so which now you you prove that f is uniquely determined by this limit, so you get your final results, your gamma of x, you get another uh, expression for gamma. Because it's unique, right? And you know that gamma satisfies this function, so which is a, uh, which proves the theorem. Okay, so the reason is that uh, uh, gamma already satisfy ABC, so uh, by our results that our, uh, I proved that this phi is uniquely determined by this expression. And I know that gamma satisfies this, so gamma must be phi, so we prove the theorem. Okay, okay so this is uh, for Mohor. And uh, yes, and there's a thing called a stirring formula. And I think uh, I don't want to prove because I already proved in my other videos. Yeah, so this video just proved this theorem. Okay, so I'll see you guys uh, next videos. And uh, next video, we will go to the the inverse uh, function of several variables and approve the inverse function theory. Okay, it's very difficult. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. Subscribe to my channel.